Hey, it's Gary from Video Guys. Today we're going to talk about recommended systems for video editing. Today's tips don't matter if you're doing a PC or a Mac, a laptop, or a desktop. We're going to give you what we think is the kind of system requirements you're going to need to edit HD footage. By HD footage, we mean ABC HD, Full HD, DSLR, or GoPro footage. So let's start talking about it right now. This is the Video Guys website right here, and we're going to get into our recommended systems. One of the most important things you need when you're building a system is you've got to get a balance between your CPU, your RAM, and your graphics card. So let's talk about the CPU. We want a quad core, an Intel i7 or Xeon quad core. Four cores, six cores is always better, but a minimum of four cores. You want to feed that beast with at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now I know on a laptop sometimes all you can get is eight. But you are going to find that that will become your choking point. 16 gigabytes of RAM is great, 32 is even better. GPU, that's the question we get asked all the time. For Adobe video editors, you definitely want to go with NVIDIA. Same with Avid. If you're on a Mac, obviously the new Mac Pro has the ATI, but if you're going with an iMac, we recommend you get the NVIDIA graphics. We want a graphics card with at least one gigabyte of RAM on board, 500 or more CUDA cores. The CUDA cores would accelerate your rendering, and accelerates the workflow when you're editing with your video. Now, one of the things people get confused about is they think, well, what if I get a lot higher CPU, a lot more powerful processor, but keeps those specs, or I add more RAM? You really want to keep it balanced and add everything together. The weakest component of those three is going to be what ends up bringing your system down. And a lot of people don't realize that RAM is cheap, so you never want to have too little RAM if you can avoid it. 16 is great, 32 is ideal, 64 is overkill. But as long as you follow those basic guidelines that we're giving you, you can go to the Video Guys website. We've got some recommended systems. This is from our recommended systems page. If you feel like building your own machine, well, we just happen to have a DIY 10 article which will guide you on putting your own components together to build a machine. On our recommended systems page, we'll spec out what kind of iMac you can get. And if you're just interested in getting one of the new Mac Pros, they work great too. For video editing, if you're going to be an FCPX editor or you're going to edit on FCP, I strongly recommend that. But if you're going to be editing on a PC, one of the things you should definitely look at if you're going to be doing this professionally is one of the HP workstations, a Z420 or a Z820 workstation. These machines are just built to a certain level of uh, tolerance. They're built for 24-7 to be pounded on, a lot of cooling. They're a little bit more rugged. Once again, not for a home or a casual user, but if you're going to be a professional user on the PC side, you should definitely look at the HP. Whether you're an Avid, Adobe, Final Cut Editor, you can always give the folks over at videoguys.com a call, 800-323-2325. We'd be happy to review your computer system and go over what your needs are. We'll also review storage with you. We'll be doing a storage video later on. And uh, give us a call. We'll help you with your NLE. We are the video editing and production experts, videoguys.com.